I want members of the vaccine injury community, as well as all others out there suffering from mental illnesses, that suicide is real. You are not alone. We are in this together and we can fight it together. You matter. You matter. You matter. You matter so much. I can remember the day so vividly. I was laying on the end of my bed in pain and in despair. That's the day that I thought about taking my own life. It's been a year for so many of us and this is hard. And we're still dealing with it and we're still in pain. I want you to not give up on hope. I want you to hang on to Team Humanity. We are here for each other and I believe so many more people that we don't even know near and far are here for us too. You matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. The vaccine opened up a whole new mental illness that I had never experienced before. I want people to know that they are not alone. It's scary. I'm scared. You're not alone. My life changed forever. I am disabled now. I had a whole life that I no longer can live like I was. And that brings a slew of different emotions. Talking about what we are going through is as medicinal as the treatment itself for me. So remember you matter and talk about it. You matter. We care. I've lost my career, lost my health, lost my savings. I still really don't know what I'm going to do to change this trajectory. But I've learned probably the most valuable lesson I've ever learned in my life over the past year. And that's how much I mean to people. We deserve to be here and we deserve to live. We all matter. What got me through the darkest moments when you're all alone and not even your loved ones can touch you, it was this light and it was faint, but I felt that it should not go out. Don't let it go out. We are truly suffering, but we need to talk about this. And we need to talk about this now. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Please don't give up hope. There are treatments out there that can help. Please reach out to somebody. Stay with us. Be with us. Help us heal together. When you find yourself in dark places, trapped in dark thoughts. Think about the people around you. Think about how much they need you. I'm scared every day and I'm still healing. You will get through this. There are brighter days ahead. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. I'm here to say that there is hope. I received my Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine January 18th, 2021. My body went into an absolute tailspin. I was having full neurologic and autonomic disorders. The pain was excruciating. So I went from thinking I'm going to die from this to I'm actually surviving to thinking to myself, how will I ever survive this chronic illness? Days of debilitating pain. My husband was at work. My kids were all at school. I was home alone. I had every opportunity to do what I thought I was going to do that day, but I didn't because I thought of my husband. I thought of my four children. This is something we need to start speaking about. There are greater things in life than taking our own. My wife, Heidi Rare, had long COVID for 13 months and took her own life uh, May 22nd of uh, this year. She was uh, declared legally dead May 26th. And I can't be specific enough to anybody out there who's having those thoughts. You're not a burden. You're anything but a burden. The burden comes when somebody's taken their own life. That's the when the burden starts because that's the burden that goes on for the rest of your loved one's lives. There is a way to fight the raging battle in your mind. You need to do it with a community of help. You matter. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. If, if you're stuck in one of those situations, please reach out to somebody. Call anybody. Please do not shut down and think you have to carry this burden on your own. My wife was injured by her first and only COVID vaccine almost a year ago. This injury was so severe that she was no longer my partner. 
She was confined to a dark room because her ears and eyes and skin were so sensitive. She couldn't be touched. You couldn't talk to her. She was alone and isolated. This injury invaded her brain. It removed her personality. It took everything that she was and threw it away. She became a shell. I could see in her eyes the pain that she was in, that she was disconnected from her family. I knew that she wanted out. I saw the shift in her after this injury. It took everything from her and from us. I was afraid to leave her because I thought if I came back, she would be gone. I took over all of the household chores. I took care of the kids. I made food. I made sure that she had food that she could eat. I took all of her medications that might cause her harm and locked them up. I also removed all other dangerous items. I had to get people to come and stay with her if I needed to go into work or off to the store. She would ask me every single day if this was going to get better. Over many, many months of this, I made sure that she was not alone. I did not give up. I kept her safe from this injury and from herself. The clouds lifted, the light returned to her eyes, and things did improve. The sound sensitivity reduced, the light sensitivity as well, and her skin was no longer too sensitive to be touched. I didn't give up, and she returned to us. There is hope. It's totally normal to feel hopeless, but there will be ways of getting them the medical attention they need. If you think suicide is the way out, you are leaving people behind who will never be the same. People say, oh, you just, you got to take it one day at a time. Sometimes we have to take it one minute at a time. You matter. I matter. You matter. Don't give up hope.